right. <laughs> It has been a minute since I've been in the hot tub, um, but here's the thing. I had a lot of little things that have come up um, besides my surgery, which you guys have seen me talk about in a couple other of the workout videos, but I was planning on doing a Q&A with one friend, canceled. Then I was planning on doing a Q&A today, and I was thinking, you know what? I'm always doing hot topics in the tub, and Fit Club has this really nice sauna. Um, so hot that my phone overheated because I didn't have my camera with me, um, and then I was dying and I had jewelry on and my everything's burning and I'm like I gotta get out of here so I asked a couple days ago uh, for the original Q&A that I was gonna do with my girlfriend I asked uh, Instagram for some questions so I am here to answer your questions I don't have my oh I do have my phone on me because I have to be done in like 10 minutes because I have a lash appointment but here we go. So, um, what is my training split? So, my training split is going to change. Um, I am still doing four days a week of legs. Um, I had my surgery, and then now I did, took off 18 days. Then, after I took off 18 days, I came back really slow, and today was actually my first really heavy day. Oh, it felt so good. I feel amazing. Let me just tell you, um, there's a few things that happened that I did want to talk about, and I'm still going to probably answer all these questions, but like, um, people, you don't realize, or most people don't realize uh, uh, until you actually start moving or until you do it and start feeling great and then stop for a little bit. Like, I've never gone more than 14 days without training, and I think I talked about this in my last video, so I, but I didn't talk about this. Um, I felt such a significant difference. Like, I still trained my clients. I still got up every morning. I got sick. Um, for three days, I had a fever, 100.4, not 104. Um, and I still got up and did my work. I still trained clients. They were like, there was one day I didn't go into the studio because I was like really bad, and then it fell into the weekend, which I don't go into the studio. So, um, but like just not, of course, like I, I wasn't filming, but like I very easily could have done a video like this. I could have done a food prep vi video, but I just like wasn't motivated. I, I felt like different. And then even these couple weeks coming back, like I just don't, I can't do like 50%. I can't do pump workouts. That's why this was kind of like a good thing probably for my body, this like forced deloads because by taking off this much and then forcing myself to go, because I just, I, I don't feel good when I don't go ham, uh, like hard as a mo if you know what that means. So, um, I just, so my training split for right now, I hadn't been working out upper body for months, then I can't work upper body, and I'm gonna do my first workout with Dr. Mike and Jared over at Renaissance Periodization, which I've been on their channel quite a few times, um, and I'm gonna do my first upper body with them on the 21st, which is technically almost five weeks after the surgery, and then I decided I'm gonna get back to doing just shoulders. So my back is very massive, I do miss doing shoulders, even though I really haven't lost them, but like I watched some videos of me doing upper body and I'm like oh you know I miss a little bit of the pump so I'm gonna go back to just shoulders on Monday Tuesday quads with Andy Wednesday off Thursday hamstrings by themselves um, then I'm very heavy then Friday um, lighter quads even though I did heavy today because I did light on Tuesday um, and lighter glutes and then I'm sorry heavy glutes and then Sunday Saturday off, Sunday volume glutes and hamstrings since I did one heavy quad day, one heavy ham, one heavy glute, and then light quad on Friday, light ham and glute on Sunday. So that's how my split is. Thank you for asking. Okay, um, no more tattoos. If I'm gonna do anything, I'm just gonna kinda get some like reworked on, touched up. Um, somebody asked me, how do I balance work, training, training clients, training myself, kids, and downtime? So I've actually coached people for this. Like I have done life coaching. Um, I've only done it a few times where like, I've had people that have had coaches. Um, two of them were competitors and I just did their life coaching, teaching them about like help, helping them 
them. One person was opening up a business. One person was just starting a business. One person was just uh, trying to like, again, do all this stuff. So like, I am very good with time management. Um, I get a lot done. Um, I'm very good with like teaching people about like coping skills and teaching people about balancing and stuff like that. So like, that's why I say when anybody comes to me, I don't care if you're a single mom with four kids. I don't care if you have three jobs. I, I can make it work for anybody because I can help you about with time management, help you. So like, it's going to be all about planning my food prep when I have my downtime, then my training. And then on the days that I don't have training, I get a lot of the little things, the other little things that people do usually on the weekend. And then I, on the weekend, which is really like Saturday, I get downtime if I don't do a photo shoot, which I do like once every seven weeks or so, um, just for like marketing and content purposes. And then on Sunday, I train in the morning and I have my kids. So like really Friday afternoon to Saturday, even though tomorrow it's like, I'm literally leaving, I'm email doing emails at three o'clock in the morning and then leaving my house. And I do them for like four, four to five hours on Saturdays, leaving my house at 9.15 and then I I have like an appointment at uh, 10, meeting a girlfriend at 11.30, an appointment at 2.30, um, picking up tickets for something, meeting up with somebody to give them the tickets, and then um, meeting up with my girlfriend whose husband is DJing uh, somewhere. So I'm gonna go listen to him play for like maybe like an hour and then go home. So I'm gonna leave my house at like 9.15 and I won't get home until six o'clock and I'm bringing all my food with me. And there are some places that I can heat up my food. So again, it's just, it's really just gonna be about time management. Like what, everybody has time to food prep. It's just going to be a matter of are you going to food prep for seven days or are you going to food prep for three? Is it going to be on the same day? Every night looking at what the next day is, some of you are, are, are blessed with the exact same schedule. I have the exact same thing. Sometimes I have wrenches that are thrown into my day, meaning like somebody is interested in training and I have to set up a call. Um, my ex-husband, because we own a business together, sometimes he'll send me a lead. I might, there was a Friday that I had like four calls. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it was a Saturday that I had four calls scheduled and I just had to plan my Saturday around getting on, on calls every like 30 minutes. So, um, some things will just randomly come up. Um, but you know, I, I will always be able to make time for things like that. And then I, ha I do have a very good support system. Like even though I'm divorced, my ex-husband and I have a very good schedule. And if he wants to take the kids, if I want to take the kids, we have our set schedule, then his uh, parents are here. So they help. Um, you know, when the kids are off of school, sometimes I'll keep them all day um, and I just make sure I'm still training clients in the morning and training clients at night but I got a 15 year old that can stay with my nine year old if my 15 year old has wrestling then I might have to drop off my nine year old at my ex mother-in-law's house and so like again I just have a good I, I have help I do so I'm not like completely alone um, I will say I have a bit of an advantage I know there are a lot of people that struggle with this that don't have help but again I could probably help you find a way so all the information to coach with me is in the description. Um, I can help you get healthier. Um, I can help you get to goal. I can help you with discipline and commitment and, and finding and coping skills and finding your fire, finding your why. And then all of that stuff that comes to, with health and fitness bleeds into life. And the healthier you are, the more creative you are, the more energy you have. Everybody thinks that like, oh, well, if I'm working out and I'm expending all this energy, I'm going to be tired. No, you're going to have more energy, not the opposite. I took more naps when I wasn't working out than now that I started. Okay. Um, how does it feel to be back in the gym today? Effing amazing. Today was my best day back by myself, which I love working out with other people, but by myself, it was insane. Very happy. Um, how tall am I? Five, five and a half. I have lost weight since the surgery, but it's just a lot of inflammation because my calories were dramatically pulled back because I wasn't active for almost three weeks. Um, so right now I'm about 164 and a half. 164.6, I think. Um, first time on stage, was I nervous? Yes, I might even put a picture in here. I haven't decided yet. It's on my Instagram, I posted it before. Like the, the, um, the God, what's the, the word that I'm looking for? It's like the life, the, the competition life of Jen. 
outline of what I started, I was very nervous. Um, I didn't really get comfortable on stage until 2011. I did two shows in 2009, and then I did like four or five shows in 2011, and I think the last show is where I really got comfortable. Then I took off for a few years, and then I got really uncomfortable in 2015. 2016, a little bit more comfortable. 17 and 18, a little bit more comfortable, and 18 was the first time I did physique. Um, I was very nervous for my um, routine, and then I did, and then I completely threw in the towel, and then super comfortable back on stage in 2022. Um, but the first time was a hot mess. You should see those pictures. Um, have I always followed a plan? Yes. Um, well, not always, but I started working out when I was 16 years old, but I also got sick when I was 19, diagnosed with Crohn's disease at 21, still sick and on medication until 23, and then decided I'm done. I got certified. I also have a nervous breakdown. I went through some like really hard times in my life. And then I designed a plan and I got myself in remission and I stopped taking medication. And since uh, I was, so I'm, I'm gonna be freaking 47 this year. And since I was 23 years old, I've been following some kind of plan. I've done my own nutrition, uh, literally up until seven and a half years ago when I hired my first coach. Um, and then I did take a break from a coach on, on nutrition for a few years, and then Andy's been doing my nutrition for the past almost two years. February will, oh, February, I forgot when, will be two years that he's been doing my nutrition. And January 3rd of 2021 was the first day I started co training with him. So I just trained him to, to do legs with me once a week, and then I hired him to take over my nutrition over a year later. Um, but I've always had my, I've always done my own. I got myself into remission, you know, and again, I have a, like a, a lot of clients and I just got to a point two years ago where I said I'm writing out 50 people's meal plans adjusting people's plans looking at people's bodies when I do a 30-day challenge that's another 30 to 40 people and I just don't want to think anymore about myself so just I'm just I just want to send in what I look like and you tell me what to do um, so um, how do I handle going out to eat okay so that people have asked me that a lot and then somebody else asked me what advice do you have for somebody that travels a lot for work I had a client that lost 78 pounds with me in seven months, one of my guys. He was with me for eight years and he traveled every single week. Sometimes for one day, sometimes for three days, sometimes for almost the whole week, leave on a Monday, come back on a Friday, and he would bring his phone, his food with him. I have done so many traveling videos on this channel. I think you could just like type in travel, or meal prep travel, and uh, you'll see a whole bunch of videos. Um, yes, you can go out to eat, and I have a lot of clients that like are entertaining clients or just going out with family. Like, I don't think that you can't be in shape if you are somebody that needs to do that. He maintained goal for eight years. He stayed with me for eight years. He did daily check-ins every day for eight years and he did stayed with daily check-ins, like literally every night, never missed a day. And I've never never woken up past 3.45 since January 4th of 2010. So he was a daily check-in client and he would send his check-in. You don't have to log on to a website. You don't have to log on to her app. It's copy paste and you just fill in your numbers. And if anything was off plan, you would let me know. If you ordered, uh, if you went out to a restaurant on, place a special order or it could fall onto a refeed day so I have clients that go out to eat all the time and they are still in great shape and tracking and losing weight and feeling good and having a lot of energy I have a client right now that she's at goal she's been at goal for a very long time with me she trains with me in the studio every single Saturday she gets a dessert one to two this Saturday, she did three glasses of wine and a refeed, uh, like a full-on meal, like where it was either steak and potatoes or sushi or a burger. And she gets on the scale on Saturday, 117 pounds. She's under five feet tall. And then gets on the scale on Sunday and 116 and change, sometimes 115.9 every week. So... That, that's another thing that I do. And then I have clients that are on their way to goal. They don't get a refeed every week. They get one maybe once every two or three weeks. Then I have clients that are really struggling and they don't follow the plan because they are really struggling with the whole binging and stuff like that. So like we work through that. And then, you know, we, I, I'm not, I don't like to use food as a motivation, but like, you know, hey, let's really try to stay on track for these X number of days and then I'll give you a refeed. But again, we're working through coping skills and stuff like that. So, again, this is just me talking about what kind of coach I am. Um, and I think that's it. Um, so that's good. I kind of got an opportunity to talk to you about a little bit about what I do as a coach. Um, 
And then the, my programs are actually for anybody. Um, I have a guy that lost 30 pounds with me and now he's on his way to getting jacked and we're about to do a little mini cut and then he'll go back to a bulk. Um, I have another guy that found me on YouTube from my like documentary and he's very lean, like has a super fast metabolism and he's bulking. Um, and th- Oh, right up my keister. And then um, I majority of my clients, and I've said this in the last couple videos, are between 35 and 65, and they're just right. Like, I don't train competitors. I never have and I never will, and I've said this before in a video. If I have 50 clients that are all miserable people or unhappy or unhealthy, that is what I want. If I only have 50 slots available, those are the kind of people I want to coach. I don't want to coach somebody for 12 weeks. Just be, And also just because I know how to take direction to get on scale, which uh, to get on stage, which I am retired and I don't compete anymore, just doesn't mean that I know how to coach somebody. I know how to take direction from a coach that designed a program for me. I can get you in great shape, but I'll never put my name on somebody on stage. I'll never learn the ins and outs about peak week and all that other stuff. And I just, I don't want to, okay? Um, so again, I can get you in great shape, but I'm not trying to get people to nine and 3% body fat. I'm not trying to put somebody on stage. I don't want to work with somebody for 12 weeks. I want to work with somebody for six months, year. I have clients that have been with me for eight years, seven years. I have seven clients that have been with me for 14 years. Um, so we'll just end there, especially because this is right up my, mm, and I got to go get my eyelashes done. And before that, I got to quickly change. So I love you guys. I hope you like this video. Leave your comments below, like, subscribe, and share to the channel, and let me know what you want to see in the next Hot Topics. Um, maybe if there's a specific one topic you want me to talk about instead of doing a Q&A, leave your comments below.